Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Devon's Pride, traditional ale by the Masters Brewery over in Wellington. Devon. Let's get this gold cap off the beer, get it into a glass and see what we get. Hey, look at that. Nice smoky opening. It smells like a nice traditional bitter. I feel like a traditional bitter today. It's been a it's been a long difficult day. And it's just what I need to kind of pick me up after a long day. So, beer in the glass. Nice looking ale. It is bottled condition, so you're going to get a little bit of haze going on. It's a three finger Slightly off white head, nice, nice carbonation in the glass. Look at that, it's been conditioning for a few months on my kind of wall there behind, and it's faded off really well. Look at that, lovely copper amber colored ale. I'm gonna get my nose into this beer then, see what we get. Mmm, and it's a floral hoppiness, but a traditional kind of English earthy floral hoppiness. Bit of lemongrass, bit of freshly squeezed lemon in the aroma. And then a nice kind of malty, bready aroma in there as well. Hmm, I'm gonna dive in. Smells impressive. Cheers everyone. Hmm. And that's not bad. Not bad at all. It's got a very it is earthy, it's very traditional, but it's nice and hoppy in an English way, that classic kind of English hedgerow hop. It's biscuity, it's bready. But that carbonation really does a lot for the beer. And let me get it up again. It does a lot to kind of zing the beer up. It's a way, it's the traditional way of brewing beer. It's not forced carbonated. This is brewed at a lo lovely little brewery, I'd like to add. I brewed a, a mint chocolate imperial stout with these guys back in April 2013. And it was cracking and we had a few pints of this and we sat in a little brew pub with the fire on and it was it was good stuff it was good stuff we had a really good evening and drinking this I remember I still remember the taste drinking this takes me back to that day it was good fun I imagine this beer, from Devon's Pride, their traditional ale, I imagine this is one of their best sellers because it's something which I'm just going to show you the, if I can get it all out, I'm going to show you the bottle condition process. It's something which you finish work, you can perhaps pop to the brewery and pick a few bottles up or other than that, pick it up at a local bottle shop. And enjoy a few beers it's, it's one of their kind of better or not not I shouldn't say better it's more of their kind of traditional sessionable beer that you can tuck three or four away in but yeah 
wanted to show you the carbonation, the sediment as well. It's, it's a bottle condition process. It's, it's what causes the carbon, the, yeah, the carbonation in the beer. It's, it's yeast in the beer. They've asked you to, to leave it in the bottle, but I'm just kind of getting it out for reviewing purposes. You can really see that floating around in the glass. Okay, rating then for Masters Brewery Devon's Pride Traditional Ale. It's nice and lemony, nice and hoppy, nice and biscuity. It's 3.8%. I don't think I've added the, the ABV here. 3.8% ABV, so you can chuck a couple of them away and really enjoy it. It's a good beer. So I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.